Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen. We are still in Zurich, and now it's my honor and pleasure to talk with uh, Paul Hewitt here from Klondex Mainz, and he's the president and CEO. And well, the company had fantastic uh, Q1 results this morning, and this is, uh, of course, one item I want to talk with you about, Paul. Thanks for taking the time. Uh, thank you very much, Johan, and thanks for having me here again. It's great to provide a quick little update, and um, yeah, we're very proud of our results. Uh, yeah, so what happened in Q1? You had fantastic production figures. We had uh, 32,500 gold equivalent ounces recovered from both our operations. And we sold uh, just under 32,000 ounces, like 31,700. So the team, again, have been firing on all cylinders. Um, this is exactly what we've expected. We guided between 120 and 125,000 ounces. So no surprises. The team have done exactly what's expected of them. And I'm as president and CEO, very, very proud of them. Um, what I'm most proud of is um, the fact that they're doing it while no injuries are occurring. There have been no safety, wow. no major safety. That's fantastic. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that we are uh, pulling this gold out of the ground yeah. at a very low cost and sending all our men and women home safely to their families. Yeah. So that's very important to us, Johan. If we talk absolutely, I think that's super important, definitely, because also it uh, helps the mind to produce every day. Because when you have a serious injury, you have to close probably, you know? That's absolutely right. So, and that's not what we're about. It's not our culture. Our yeah. culture is to make sure that um, our, our employees go home to their families. The most important thing that ever comes out of a mine is a miner. Absolutely. Definitely. I agree totally. Cost, you just mentioned it. At what cost you have produced in the Q1? Can you say, can you say already so a, an indication? Q1, um, so we put out guidance uh, for the year and all in sustaining costs um, are gonna be in the range of 800 to 850 US. Um, last quarter, our costs were about 585 US, our production costs, so we are- um, So you mean the cash cost? Or our cash costs, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's, we're a very low cash cost producer. Um, and, and we're privileged with some very high grades, but we've got some very good miners uh, that make sure that we minimize dilution and we're reducing costs at all levels, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fantastic. Um, let's say a bit uh, yeah, with mining plan, with cost situation, with gold price situation. As far as I know, we have spoken about it yesterday. I think you have a game plan, right, with $800, $1,000, $1,200 gold, but you also did uh, your reserve at $800, right? Actually, our gold, resource gold price, of course. Done Real resource, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Johan, our resource was done at $800. Our reserve was done at $1,000. And, and in both cases, um, obviously, we had a strategy behind that. We wanted to demonstrate that both our projects are economic at a lower metal price. Um, and that can demonstrate to existing shareholders, our future shareholders, that despite what the commodity pricing does, these mines can still run. In fact, um, we have three different mine plans. Mm -hmm. We have a mine plan at $1,200 gold, at $1,000 gold, and at $800 gold. And, and we're very proactive in the sense that if the price of our commodity drops 20% in within a week or 10 days, mm -hmm. then our our plan and our design, it changes. It must change. Mm -hmm. Otherwise... How, how fast can you change? We can change very quickly because these plans are already set up in place. Mm -hmm. and, and our strategy, our number one focus, always at the forefront of our mind, is making money for our shareholders. So that is the number one focus, you know, Mm -hmm. with not with outstanding safety and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but making money for our shareholders is, is critical to our success. Mm -hmm. We run Klondex as a business, mm -hmm. um, and that's the way we're entrepreneurs. We are shareholders. We don't call ourselves employees. We are shareholders, um, and that is very key and critical, and it has been critical to our success to date. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. What is the game plan, let's say, for the next uh, half year, or call it nine months, meaning to the end of the year? Uh, what's the game plan concerning uh, increasing mine life, increasing resources, reserves? What, what, what are you planning on? So great questions. Um, in both cases, at Midas and at Fire Creek, we have tremendous opportunities. Uh, we are spending the most capital ever in the company's history in one given year um, on exploration. And that's $33 million this year, $15 million will be spent at Midas, 
and another $15 million will be spent at Fire Creek. The distribution is approximately $6 million in core drilling and then about $9 million in development. We're also spending an additional $3 million on some upgrades for our mill um, to, to, to make sure that everything is as, as efficient as we want it. As, as we continue to grow both sites and the organic growth comes um, and the tonnage rate starts stepping up, we want to make sure that our mill is ready for it. Mm -hmm, definitely. What is the guidance for this year for the production and what do you think you can achieve maybe next year? Uh, so this year uh, we've guided approximately 20% higher than what we did last year. And, and, and you got to remember, Johan, um, up until last year, we were an exploration company. We skipped mm -hmm. the whole development phase altogether. Typically, you'll go from explorer development to production. We skipped that whole phase and transitioned from explorer to operator the moment we bought Midas. Last year, our maiden year of production ever, we produced over 100,000 ounces. This year, we're guiding approximately 20% higher, so in the neighborhood of 120 to 125,000 gold mm -hmm. equivalent ounces from both of our operations, which is which is very exciting. We we have the capability of pouring dore on site on our own property, so everything is done mm -hmm. in house right till the final stages, where we send our dore off to Johnson Matthey to be refined to four nine. So mm -hmm. um, the the acquisition of minus has forever changed Klondex. Um, and it has forever changed Midas for that matter. Uh, we have uh, an aggressive focus at Midas uh, so that we could extend the life of Midas. Um, Fire Creek, it's our flagship. It, it is without doubt one of the most unique properties you will ever encounter in your lifetime. With respect to grade, um, there's none like it. You can't mm. compare it. it. It is an amazing deposit. Um, there is so little we understand about it today. We've only drilled on 7% of the land package. 93% of the land package is untested. We have a lot to learn at Fire Creek, um, and we know that a lot of new information will come from the drilling that we will be spending and targeting in mm -hmm. this year. So that means, uh, as a conclusion, you will definitely increase the mine life and you will increase resources and reserves through that, right? That's a on. major target. <laughs> we, we've already seen success at the end of the drill bit. In fact, we put out reserve statements for both properties. Um, since we've put out the reserve statements, we've press released uh, drill results at both Fire Creek and Midas. Those, those results were not included in the resource and in the reserve in many cases. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to uh, the new updates that we're going to be providing for our shareholders. Mm -hmm. and. We will see an extension. Um, there will be additional ounces. How many? It, it's 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 too difficult to predict in this yeah. type of system. Yeah, we shouldn't predict only. That's no, right. Yeah, it's yeah. not something I want to do. Um, yeah, yeah. But it will be definitely higher. It will be different and the number will be higher. Definitely. Fantastic. One last question um, about the permit situation at Fire Creek. Because you are, you're working by now with a bulk sampling permit. What's the status there? Is all in line, all good with the regulators? Yeah, we're, we're pretty fortunate that we've got a very strong permitting group uh, led by Lucy Hill. Um, she does a tremendous job for us and she's led that whole team. Um, we anticipate that uh, we will have the full-scale EA working closely uh, with the regulators um, who, are, who are great to work with in Nevada. Mm -hmm. uh, permitting in Nevada is made such easier because of the fact that the regulators are very much willing to work with the companies and mm -hmm. trying to get us those permits and cross the line. Mm -hmm. So at this point, um, the final EA is expected in the second half of 2015. Um, we don't see any red flags in front of ourselves. Mm -hmm. The process is being followed very closely. Um, I, I, don't, I don't expect that, that to be extended at this point. Perfect. Thank you very much, Paul. All the best for that. And we look forward on new resources, new reserves, longer mine life, and the final permit, of course. Yes, thank you very much, Johan. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Take care. Thank you. And uh, keep it going. Great yes, job. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Paul Hewitt from uh, Klondex. And, well, as you heard it, uh, we have... Uh, 
well, hopefully soon, higher reserves, higher resources, and uh, yeah, it's a fantastic job they did so far, and uh, you heard it, 32,500 ounces was released this morning for the first quarter production, and it looks like they will beat again their own estimate of 120 to 125,000 ounces, so let's wait and see, and thanks and bye-bye from Zurich.